Baby, nagselas ka ba? Alam niya na paano magparinig sa mga jowa niyo. Favorite ko ka kayo mga white roses. Hey guys! Good morning! So we are back with another vlog and today we are off to BGC! Yeah, and we're gonna meet our friends, Sila Jella and Pao. Mag the double date kami yes. today. <laughs> and shoot. So exciting. So, yun yung mga gagawin namin today. And ano ba? Kakain. And at least nakaayos ako today. And presentable naman ako sa inyo kahit pa paano. Kasi nahihiya na ako. Like, hindi ako nag-effort mag-ayos sometimes. But today, yan, nag-effort naman ako ng slight. Ayan, so anyway, may pakita ako sa inyo. May manliligaw ako. <laughs> may secret manliligaw. Wait for it, wait for it. Tada! Baby, nagselas ka ba? So, eto, binigay ng aking secret na manliligaw. Char lang guys. Joke lang. Wala akong maliligaw. But this is from Nila's Flowers. Yan. And guys, sobrang laki niya. Look. I wasn't expecting this one. And they just sent this one over yesterday. And sobrang ganda niya guys. Sobrang ganda ng arrangement. And ayan, look. Blue flowers for Rhea Blue. Ayan. Sobrang nice. Look. Actually, sila yung one of the best na gumawa ng mga flower bouquet. Sobrang ganda. Last time, I got a bouquet rin from them. Pero, ano siya, parang collaboration nila with Versace. Si Versace kasi they sent over a scent, a perfume to me. So, yun. Maganda. Sobrang ganda. And then, first time ko ata nakakita nung peonies nung time na yun. So, guys, if you want peonies, ganyan. Sobrang ganda na mga flower selections nila and even the quality. Ayan. Day 2 na to and mukha pa rin siyang fresh. ba? Guys, yan. So, if you wanna order flowers for your girlfriend, for your mom, for your um, lola, ayan. Click the link down below and check them out. Sobrang ganda. Like, paano nila nagawa to? So nice. And sobrang fresh talaga. Look. Ayan. Amazed ako sa ato. Ecuadorian roses. Sobrang ganda. Actually, one of my favorite flowers din to. Ecuadorian peonies and tulips. So, yun yung mga gusto ko. Basta white. Yan. There. Naririnig mo ba sinasabi ko? Hmm. Ano yung mga favorite kong flowers? Peony. Oo. Oh. Peony. Puro peony. Hindi kaya. White roses. White tulips. Roses. Peony white peony. tulips. Dati peony. Hindi, nga. So, you need to take note, ha? Ah, inibad. So, ayun, guys. Alam niya na paano magparinig sa mga jowa niyo in a subtle way. Today, finally, papakabit na namin yung canopy namin. Parating ng 3pm yung gagawa nun. Actually, nahanap ko lang sila sa Facebook Marketplace. And I really hope na okay sila and legit sila. <laughs> Kasi medyo hindi pa super ganun yung trust ko sa Facebook Marketplace. Although, before naman na-try ko na rin na mag-hire doon. And so far, okay naman talaga. But alam niyo yung feeling na 
sana yung parang okay talaga yung feeling na excited kayo at kinakabahan kayo at the same time so yun yun na feel ko today but yun bago kasi bumagyo ulit nakapag-decide na talaga kami ni Jeff na ipapagawa na namin yung canopy kasi nung previous na bagyo talaga grabe feeling namin pati dito sa loob <laughs> ng bahay like lalo na yung sa may kitchen area namin parang bumabaha na rin kasi pumapasok na yung water Pero yun nga, sana okay na yung um, canopy na retractable yung papalagay namin. So, hindi na kami magpo-polycarbonate. So, yung retractable na lang talaga since we are just renting this place para mas ano lang talaga, mas practical. Ganun. So, if we move out in the future, yung canopy na yun, pwede lang namin tanggalin and dalhin sa aming new house. So, ganun siya. Yun yung ma-advise ko talaga sa inyo. If you guys are also renting and if kailangan nyo ng extra canopy, I would really or highly suggest yung retractable na canopy. So, ayun. Anyway, yun yung update ko sa inyo today and papakita ko of course later kung paano nila ikahabit. Kasi medyo may issue pa rin kasi yung mga standard sizes kasi hindi siya swak dun sa area kung saan namin siya ipapakabit. So, we ordered for the 3 by 2. Pero, technically, ang kailangan namin would be is 2.8 by 2. So, they would need to trim it pa. So, tingnan natin kung maayos yung pag-trim nila mamaya. So, para lang talaga, ano siya, tailor fit doon sa area namin. Since may dalawang tubo, and kailangan hindi matamaan yung tubo na yun. So, yun yung goal. So, yun lang. Anyway, I'm gonna update you again later. kakabit na yung aming canopy. So, itong buo ito, anong... Ito man, 3 meters po ito. Ah, okay. okay. Ayan guys, lumidilim na. Pero, buti na lang, hindi umulan. But, update. Ayan na sila. Tada! So I think magdi-drill na lang sila para makabit na yung pinaka um canopy namin which is this one. So ito yung color na pinili namin para match siya sa house. Kasi yung iba, actually guys, ang dami na namin um can uh, nag-canvas kami ng bongga. Yon. So Siyempre, we want yung best deal, yung best offer, and so far, sila yung best. Um, ito din yung color na meron sila, which is what we want. Kasi yung iba, they have red, blue, black, and sobrang pangit ng color. So, of course, gusto natin yung masunod yung aesthetic ng house. So, there! <laughs> Kamusta ka dyan? <laughs> Hey guys, good morning and today I'm gonna show you yung itsura ng aming canopy. Uh, medyo dumilim lang talaga dito sa kitchen kasi nga nagkaroon ng canopy dito sa may labas ng pinaka-window ng kitchen which is for me okay lang as long as hindi na pumasok yung water dito sa may door namin kasi yun talaga yung pinaka-issue namin kaya namin gusto palagay ng canopy yung area na to. And not only that, gusto ko rin na pag nag-laundry ako, hindi na ako nagmamadaling lumabas kasi nga baka mabasa yung laundry ko from the rain. And with this canopy kasi, medyo malaki yung in-install nila from what I actually really paid for or requested. Kaya sobrang thankful talaga ako um, kina team ni Isbeth kasi sobrang ginalingan nila talaga tong pag-install ng canopy namin and sobrang um, sobrang ayos talaga as in wala akong masabi sobrang um, gusto ko yung trabaho nila and I love how fast they work um, despite na parang alam niyo yun bumili ako ng food for them pero hindi sila nag-break like priority nila was to really finish 
their work first. So, yun, sobrang na-appreciate ko talaga. So, sobrang thank you, thank you, thank you talaga sa team ni Isbet. And for those who want to have a canopy installed like this one, a retractable one, then I will include their link down below so you can check them out so far. Sila yung pinaka affordable na hanap ko and very reasonable yung price nila compared to yung mga na canvas ko before. Kasi yung iba like, ewan ko, siguro with how they also handled customer service, kung paano sila nagre-reply sa mga messages ko. Parang, I mean, parang kulang ng puso. Parang basta lang, ano, sure ka ba, magpapagawa ka ba o hindi. Parang ganun. Alam niyo yun? Parang sometimes kasi... Um, nagmamatter din yun for me as a customer. Gusto ko yung supplier. Sobrang, alam niyo yun nag explain talaga. Um, parang na-feel mo talaga na, sige na, magpagawa ka sa amin. Like, sure talaga na, aayusin namin. Ganon. So, yun yung important sa akin. Uh, more than anything. So, yun. I'm gonna show you the final look. I'm just gonna have my morning coffee as usual. Because you all know, I can't function without my coffee. Yeah. Ayan siya guys. So that is our canopy. Yan. So if you can see, andito siya. Outside the tubo. And then the other one, ganun din. So ginitna lang nila talaga yung canopy. Which is okay para hindi rin mabasa tong sakit pag nagwa washing machine tayo. And, ayan. Ganyan siya. So, ayun guys. You saw the final look of our canopy. And, ayun. Sobrang happy namin sa itsura niya. And as you can see, it is bigger. Actually, bigger than what we really um, went for. Kasi, initially, we ordered 3 by 2 Ang unang inisip ko was to go for 3 by 2 Kasi, that way, we can trim it down to 2.8 kasi yun yung exact measurement para malagay siya sa loob ng tubo. And then, they told me na mas mahirap pala i-trim kasi syempre, you would also need to trim yung pinakatela ng canopy. Eh, since ano siya, parang readily available na hindi siya yung ginagawa talaga. Um, we really need to stick sa mga available sizes nila. So, Ayun, obviously, we didn't went for the 3 by 2 which is to trim down into 2.8 by 2 So, instead, they were really kind enough to give us 3.5, which is bigger, but we still paid for the initial agreement namin. So, for that one, we paid around 12,000 all in na siya. Um, delivery fee, installation fee, so, sobrang sulit talaga siya for us kasi if we would go for the polycarbonate roofing, which was also our initial plan, um, parang mas expensive siya. Siguro it would be around 15000 up kasi we would need to pay, of course, yung mga gagawa and then yung pag-welding pa ng pinaka-frame ng roofing na yon and then, of course, medyo expensive din yung polycarbonate. So, Yun, mas mahal siya na option. And also nga yung polycarbonate, like I've mentioned before, sa previous previous vlog ko, na it can eventually in the future be brittle, pwede siyang mabasag or what, um, prone to fire siya. So yun yung mga gusto namin iwasan ni Jeff. And then this one naman, yung may downside pa rin naman siya, like pag nabuo yung water sa pinaka tela, pwede siyang maging ganito. Um, pag masyado mabigat na yung water doon, Pwede siya mapunit, of course. Pero, since yung amin naman, hindi siya fully na open. So, I think less than 2 meters lang yung um, naka-open na roofing. Then, hindi siya mangyayari sa canopy namin. Kasi, mostly nangyayari lang daw siya sa mga um, canopy na sobrang uh, sinasagad yung pag-open. So, yun. Imagine nyo na lang na kung nabuo yung water doon and then nakasagad pa. Siyempre, mapunit talaga yun. And also, kami, we told them na gawin siyang mas slanted. So, kung nakita nyo, medyo nakaslant siya na ganun. Um, hindi siya yung flat, which is pwede rin naman flat kung gusto nyo. Pero kami lang talaga mas prefer namin ni Jeff na nakaslant para pag umulan yung water, it will just flow down na ganun. Like, 
hindi kami problema na mabuo ma or maipon yung water doon sa pinakatela ng canopy. So, that is one reason why nakaganan siya. And then, what else can I share? <laughs> this is so exciting. Sobrang na-out of breath ako kasi sobrang excited ako na i-share ito sa inyo. And sobrang happy ko rin at the same time kasi we've been really, really saving up for that canopy. <laughs> So, sobrang happy ko talaga, guys. So, I think I'm gonna give you an update again tomorrow on what we can do. Kung meron man exciting na mangyari tomorrow. Or, I'm gonna give you a haul pala, Lazada haul tomorrow. On the things na sobrang worth investing or purchasing this 8-8 sale. Ayan, so let's be prepared kasi may 8-8 sale again. So, I got you. I'm gonna list down all of the things na pwede kong i-share sa inyo tomorrow. So, there. That's it muna for today. I'm gonna rest muna. <laughs> and there, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. Good morning. So, I'm back again vlogging and I'm feeling much better today. Kahapon kasi sobrang, alam niyo yun, pinipilit ko sarili ko na maging okay. Pero... Tinigilan ko nang mag-vlog muna. <laughs> Baka nga, mas lalo akong magka-fever or what. But today, I am feeling much, much better. And, ayun, I am ready on my laptop. Actually, kanina pa ako gising around 7.30. I usually wake up around 7.30 to 8. So, yun talaga yung um, time na, huh? ano daw? <laughs> Again, again. Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung ano yung gusto kong sabihin dito. But, yun yung time talaga ng gising ko. Ayun. So, yun na yung gusto ko sabihin sa inyo. Hindi ko alam bakit paminsan pinapahirapan ko yung sarili ko talaga. Pero, <laughs> ayun. Please excuse my Tagalog. Sometimes, paminsan pinagtatawanan talaga ako ni Jeff. I am really trying my best here. Because you all know naman na Ang inyong ate girl is Chavacano. Hindi naman ako pwede mag sa inyo parati kasi most of you would not understand me. And, yeah. Yun lang. Yun lang naman. And, um, I'm actually thinking of doing a what I eat in a day or what I eat in a week vlog soon. Pero, like, hindi siya part of this vlog. Maybe in a different vlog maybe after this vlog so i don't know let me know let me know your thoughts but i did a poll sa instagram ko and a lot of you actually said yes actually 100% siya ngayon and i'm so shook at like hindi ko inexpect na a lot of you are also interested in watching mga what i eat in a day or a week um masyadong ambitious yung <laughs> what i eat in a week pero i'll try kasi first time ko siyang gagawin. So, I might start with what I eat in a day. So, if medyo nakuha ko na yung flow and all, or if medyo naayos ko na yung recipes ko for the week, I might do the what I eat in a week soon. Maybe uh, next month. I don't know. I don't know. Pero, ayun. I don't wanna be too ambitious. So, hindi muna tayo mag- in a week. And sorry if lagi akong sumisilip kasi I'm currently waiting for our groceries. Nag-grocery ako sa Metro Mart. Last minute grocery lang siya. Um, tomorrow is gonna be another lockdown. So, hindi naman ako nag-hoard. Like, nag-grocery lang talaga ako ng mga kailangan pa namin kasi may mga kulang pa kami na veggies. So, ayun. I'm waiting for it and hindi pa ako nag-lunch and I'm so hungry. Um, kulang na yung food namin. <laughs> Kaya ako nag-groceries.
let's cook some eggs first and then my collard rice. I'm currently heating my ulam. So, ayan na nga guys, I am ready to share my 8-8 budol to you guys. Um, hindi naman siya sobrang dami. Like, I have a few items here na bago ko lang sila nakuha. And then, meron ditong isang item na sobrang tagal na niya sa akin. But, I still highly recommend it na you guys try it or get it. Kasi sobrang helpful talaga niya sa akin. And most of these items are, hmm, pang bahay. And also, sa kitchen talaga siya. Since yung mga binibili ko rin lately, um, very related to kitchen organization, yung mga tools na that would help me um, spend less time sa kitchen. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Alam niyo yun, I do love the kitchen. I just don't want to stay too long sa kitchen when it comes to preparing the food, cooking, and all. So, kaya lagi akong naghahanap ng ways to make my life easier, especially when it comes to kitchen. Kasi ang dami ko pang kailangan gawin dito sa bahay. Um, vacuum, mag-ayos, mag-unbox, never-ending unboxing ng gamit namin and all. So, ba? That's why I also wanna spend less time sa kitchen talaga. So, anyway, the first thing that I want to share with you, kasi kailangan ko na tong i-soli sa aming <laughs> ref sa fridge, baka matunaw pa siya dito, would be this one. So, ayan guys, sobrang cute nito. This is an ice cube tray. Ayan, so silicone siya. Sobrang okay niya kasi ang bilis lang talaga niyang, alam niyo yung tanggalin dito. Like, all you need to do is to bend it and then, ayan, matatanggal na yung ice. So, medyo malalaki yung squares na pinili ko kasi hindi lang talaga ako fan ng mga small cubes. Ito, I think this, this is the standard size for the cubes. Yan. So, ganyan siya. And of course, I went for the white and gray. Marami pa siya ibang colors pero for me, I think mas cute tong color na to. And very minimal lang talaga. Ganun. So, this one. Andito yung may laman pa. So, ganyan siya. And also, the nice thing about this one is meron na siyang lid or may cover na siya na ito, silicone din. This next item na isi-share ko sa inyo would be my latest purchase. ta -da! <laughs> Ito yung aming first blender. I've been wanting to purchase a blender ever since na nag-live together kami ni Jeff. Since both kami ni Jeff may sa Jamba Juice, so alam naman natin na medyo pricey ang Jamba Juice. So gusto ko rin na tipid-tipid din kami. So ayan, nag-invest na ako na blender. Actually, hindi naman siya sobrang mahal. Um, this was around 1.5 nung binili ko siya may sale. So kaya ayan, and I also like how ano siya, lightweight and very minimal yung style niya or yung look niya. Ayan. So, for this one, sobrang sakto lang din niya for the two of us. So, this can serve up to two cups or two glasses. So, which is okay na rin. It can also crush ice. Pero, hindi lang siya yung sobrang intense na mga crush niya agad. Yun nga lang yung problem. Pero, for me, okay na rin. Like, you just need to mix it every now and then para lang yung ice um, bumaba siya or para mas uh, magdi siyang makrush. This next item that I want to share with you would be... So, ito lang guys ha, yung straw and yung straw cover. Yung glass, this one I bought from Aranas five years ago. So, ganito siya. 
this glass straw, I bought this one from Casa Okio. And alam ko, matagal na tong uso. Ngayon lang talaga ako nakiuso. Pero sobrang okay talaga niya. I prefer this glass straw over the metal ones. Kasi parang, sometimes kasi yung metal ones, nagkaka-taste siya ng metal. I don't know if ako lang yun. Pero I would prefer this glass straw over the steel one. And I also bought this one separately. Para siyang ano straw cover. So, ganyan siya. Ang cute, di ba? So, this one has a lot of other designs. Pero, I went for this. Ayan, since we have dogs here. And, this one. Ayan. Dapat ito para kay Jeff. Pero, wala na siyang choice, di ba? Ako naman yung bumili. So, wag na siyang magreklamo. <laughs> Now, this next thing. Ito yung sobrang tagal na sa akin. Pero, ire-recommend ko pa rin talaga siya sa inyo. So, it would be this Derma na food processor or chopper. Sobrang love na love ko to. And hanggang ngayon, guys, buhay pa rin siya. Gumagana pa rin siya. Um, ginamit ko lang siya kanina while doing my um, cauliflower rice. So, ayun. Kaya niyang i-grind or gawin mas fine yung mga ganon. Sobrang helpful nito sa akin. And even si Kat, na-convince ko rin siya na bumili nito. Sobrang gamit na gamit niya rin sa kanyang cauliflower rice. So, there. Now, this next thing, um, kakakuha ko lang din nito, pero sobrang natuwa talaga ako sa kanya. And it's gonna be this one, the tissue holder. Sobrang ganda niya. I mean, aesthetic-wise, guys, can we appreciate this beauty? Sobrang ganda. Although, kung nga lang, if masyado kang harsh sa pagkuha ng tissue, then sama talaga tong cover niya. So, I highly suggest na hawakan niya siya and then you pull the tissue. So, ganun. Yun nga lang talaga yung problem dito. Pero, yan, if you get a hang of it, okay naman. <laughs> Ito naman, the reason why nandito si Bacon kasi andito yung food nila. So, eto, sobrang marirecommend ko rin tong airtight na container. Ayan, napakita ko na rin to last time sa vlog ko. Pero, I just wanna show you how useful it is, especially for their food. Ayan, so, andito sila. Sobrang easy na lang kunin yung food nila. And, matagal-tagal rin naman namin siya bago i-refill again. So, ayan. So, ito yung food ni Bacon. And then, ito yung food ni Tofi. So there, we are down to the last item from my 8-8 poodle, Rhea poodle. So, ito siya. Tiyan, hindi na to bago, guys. Alam ko marami ng ibang vloggers dyan na na-recommend na tong steamer. Pero, ayan, recommend ko na rin siya. <laughs> Kasi sobrang ganda nga nito. And ngayon, naintindihan ko na kung bakit hype na hype tong steamer na to. Kasi, aesthetic pa lang. Sobrang ganda. And, ang gaan niya, ha? And, an isa pa yung na-notice ko about this is sobrang easy lang din i-refill tong water. Yung ibang steamers kasi, parang struggle i-refill yung water. So, yun yung hates ko sa ibang steamers. And then, ayan, sobrang no-brainer siya. Like, you have this one button to click para mag-steam. So, ayan. So, ayan, guys. Naka-on na siya. And, ito ang aking shirt na isa-steam natin. Huwag ko pahiyain. Ayan, ayan, guys. So, look. Sobrang bilis. Oh my God. You know. Ang galing. And, instant. Siya na, hindi ko alam kung nakikita nyo. Pero, wala nang busok yung damit. And so, sobrang galing talaga nitong steamer na to. And I super, super recommend it. So, yun lang. Yun lang yung mga isi-share ko sa inyo and ibubudol ko sa inyo today. Sana may nagustuhan kayo sa mga shinare ko today. And if may um, bibilin kayo or ito try, please do tag me. I would love to know your... <laughs> I would love to know your thoughts on the items that I've shared. And kung meron na kayo, wala lang. Eh di, okay. <laughs> Kwentuhan tayo sa baba, di ba? Eh di, pag-usapan natin yung common items natin dito. So yun guys, anyway, 
that's it for today's vlog. I'm so sorry if maikli to. Hindi ko alam kung mahaba ba tong vlog na to or maikli. Hindi ko talaga sure. And uh, I can't wait to share another journey or another part of my life with you sa next vlog, of course. Stay safe tayong lahat and God bless. And there, that's it guys. I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye!